Yo, what is poppin' ladies and gents? I am back here again with another Unordinary Reaction episode 200. God damn. It's been like, what is that? F four years? No, nah, like 52 weeks in a year. So that's about four years. If you really like count it. About, it's about to be four years soon. Man, don't even, don't trip the math. I'm not super amazing at it but hey i'm still still passing my statistics class that's what i can say but damn so last week we just got some information and stuff i actually really liked last week chapter it was pretty fire if you ask me it was like man everybody been fiends and shit looking for fights i'm like oh my god like yeah i know i talk my shit when like when the story's not progressing but man people be like oh man last week the story didn't progress at all or like there was nothing that happened man all you goofies don't pay attention in english class don't know what depth is to writing don't even be talking out loud like you know what you're talking about hell yeah i'm gonna talk that shit because it's me i don't give a fuck but yes sir it did add some depth to the writing because we got confirmations in blake's character development it wasn't super deep or anything but like you know expect a few things for the next few weeks i do expect blake to fight or like some shit to, some major shit to happen by the time episode 210 to two, like 210 to 220 starts to pop off but other than all that, let's hop right into this. Alright, so we back at the school. We already know what was going on with Black the last time. So we in the headmaster's office was popping out here. Sir, I don't understand what your goal is. Since the Joker versus Royals incident, John has hospitalized three more students. Okay, like they didn't fucking deserve it. Alright. The state of Wilson has become unstable and uneasy. How long do you intend to let this continue? So, you're trying to tell me, right? You know, I, I know you're trying to mean well and all that, but this is the problem here. That you, that I, like, it seems like you can't even see it, but it seems like the headmaster sees it. So, you're trying to tell me when Arlo was the king, things were that much better. No, it's not that things were that much better. It's just that everything was a lot more on the low. There was no safe house. There was none of that shit. So nobody had these things on a freaking billboard, so nobody was paying attention to it. But now, it's out in the open, and everybody's cowering in fear. Oh man, bro, as soon as John pull up, god damn what's going on everybody a gangster until somebody really pull up and show them how it's truly done so let's see nice you just sipping on that coffee that shit black that's how i like it <laughs> you already know <laughs> and what about when the students were running around with masks on why didn't you allow the staff to interfere the kids e the kids even had to start a safe house to counteract it hmm you've been lenient eh, you've been lenient with john but isn't this enough don't you think it's time to step in Keen. Do you know why John is so important? Because he is the embodiment of all the hatred that has built up within the our uh, that is built up within our hierarchy. Well, I've been preaching this for the longest time. It's like Shy Chef they also did a video back on back on uh, back on this topic a while ago, and I also talked about this in a few of my videos. Like I didn't like do a like a straight video just explaining his um thought process, but short story is um the reason why the principal is just letting john do what he is because like a while back we got um we got that chapter he was like the school needs somebody like john so what he pretty much means is because john has been on both sides of the spectrum he's been a low tier and he's been a high tier he's already been on both sides so he knows exactly how it feels to run on both sides but you know the kids he lets them run around with, with all these things doing their own thing because it's kind of like when you're told in school how um you're the next generation and you're gonna take over this you're gonna take over to like run the country and all that stuff it's the same case here they have to decide what they want do they want to run in a society where it's ran by a hierarchy or do they want to run in a society where it's equality that's pretty much like where it's going as someone who was raised as a low tier and was later given a taste of absolute power he's gone through a unique experience that many others have not i have allowed him to continue so that those around him can recognize the consequences of society see it's disheartening to see that school that school's in this current state. See the school's in this current state. I understand. But you've seen the students have started to act. If we intervene now, we rob them of the opportunity to develop these thoughts independently. And shout outs to this man. He's thinking like super high IQ. People don't even understand. He's on some what's that guy's name? From X-Men? Who uh bro, I forgot his name. Whatever. The ball guy, bro. The guy who was the telepath. Charles Xavier, there we go. He's on some high IQ shit, real high IQ shit. Big brain as fuck. I appreciate your concerns, but I ask that you continue as instructed. Episode 200, nice. So he's putting them in danger to teach them a lesson? Yeah, sounds like something a madman would do. 
Relax, Darren. I'm sure he's got things figured out. Relax? You're not the one who has to revive all these kids. <laughs> True. Uh, honestly, that Vaughn always rubbed me, <laughs> rubbed me the wrong way. Ever since I met him, he's been giving me weird vibes. I can never tell what he's thinking. And sometimes I feel like he isn't all there. Man, this is gonna spark some controversy, I already know it, because everybody's gonna be like, Oh my god! Freaking theory, theory, theory! Uh, Vaughn is part of Ember! Uh, shut the fuck up. Don't even try it, don't even try it. I know you're thinking about it, because you read it all, oh, god. Like, that's like when you watch Dragon Ball Z and they were like, Oh my god, he's fast, he's as li fast as light! Or some stupid shit. Oh yeah, like they're moving f light speed now, okay. Yeah, like they weren't doing that back in like the regular Dragon Ball saga, when it was just a Saiyan saga, god damn, okay. He's an unusual man, that's for sure. Hmm. What? Do you really trust him, Keen? Because I don't know how much more I can take of this. <sighs> the girls dorm. Okay. Sarah. Fiener. Alright. The way John's been acting. He's so aggressive, overbearing, and angry. At this point, it's safe to assume that he's regressed back to his new Boston self. Not really, 100%. If it was his new boss himself, he would snap at every single person within range. Well, he doesn't do that. He only attacks certain people that um that really piss him off. Like, specifically the old royals. He hasn't just snapped at a random bystander. Unless they've attacked him first, if you really look at it. But they don't know that. They don't know what he was like back then. So He's so lost, yet he's closed himself off so that nobody can help him. Uh, I wonder who's, whose fucking fault that is. I still don't understand how, he, how his transformation could be so drastic. How did he become a completely different person in less than a year? It's called brainwashing. Ahaha. Did an ordinary really change his mind? An ordinary? Don't tell me you actually believe that shit. Did Claire's intervention really have an impact on him? Claire, I've kicked your ass once and I'm not afraid to do it again. No, they couldn't have- no, they couldn't have been enough. The authorities had to step in. What did the authorities do to him? I just want to get to the bottom of this. I want to know what happened. Okay, it's nice to know that she's finally starting to dig deeper into the actual cause of things. Because there's no point in like trying to fix a problem that you don't even know the root cause of. So, she's finally starting to dig deeper. Finally, she's starting to put that, that IQ to work. Because she was supposed to be smart as shit, wasn't she? Found him. Authority officer, public records. Instructor Keon. Memory recall, level 5.2. Man, I already knew this man was a, was a weak ass bitch because, bro, John headbutt the shit out of this man and he can only fight. And this man, Keon, can only slam his head on the desk because he was in handcuffs. I mean, John is only, um, quote unquote, scared of him. It's not even scared, it's like trauma because, like, you know, fear is learned. So, he's not like, it's not like he's freaking not, not, um, confident that he could beat the shit out of Keon. It's more like, oh, you know, sometimes you just can't get over that trauma. Keon's ability is memory recall. Oh, you're finally starting to dig deep enough, huh? You're finally gonna find out the truth about why Johnny is the way he is. Ooh, okay. Pulling on that jacket, I see you. Jacket on, jacket off. I ain't talking karate kid. All right. Crinkle. Safe house. Man, he's about to toss some shit into the garbage again. The club, is for, the club is a place for students to feel safe, where everyone is welcome, where everyone is welcome, and the ranks don't matter. How convenient of you. To start someone like this after I started making my move, after I become king. Where the hell was this shit before? I know, I know exactly the kind of people you are. Someone you disapprove of is above you, and now that you're all at my mercy, you suddenly want to hide somewhere. You, all, you suddenly want somewhere to hide. This is the thing that everybody does not realize. This is the thing that I also agree with. I do agree with John saying this because this is 100% true. And everybody's been saying this as well. Because like all of a sudden, so everybody's talking all this shit. But John pointed out the problem with the society. And now everybody wants to talk that loud because he's above them. Oh man, yeah. Why is he being so aggressive? Like, like they, like, um, she's like, Remy's been so reluctant to understand that. You guys are in the same freaking year. You guys have had class together and you've seen him getting beat up and then all of a sudden you want to pull up on him. People were like, you know, he was being hostile. There, like a while back, me and the Jokers had a conversation. I was like, so John was being hostile towards Remy and I'm like, I, I, I'm saying that, um, very, uh, what's the word? I forgot. I can't, I can't remember the word, but like, I don't mean it literally. Like I was saying like, there's no, he wasn't being hostile. It's just, you know, um, 
not towards her specifically anyway like just toward other people because everybody treats him like shit when it's not seraphina so like when he slapped his hand away and then blake shot a beam at his head so you're trying to tell me he deserved to get a beam shot at his head because of that stupid shit so you turn around and like yeah one of the guys was like sky was like um and and tied to they were like yeah they slapped his hand away so uh he shot a beam at his head because it looked threatening so a cripple slaps your hand away so you shoot a beam at his head yeah all right yeah where was this when he yeah where was this when he needed it so this is the reason why he has freaking trust issues this is like this man playing among us he got ptsd and freaking trust issues all mixed into one plus bipolar depression i don't even know what to call it anymore uh after i become king what the hell was that for yeah where's that shit before it's true though like they didn't give a shit until he pointed it out and now what he's saying is 100 percent facts because like bro Everybody wants to act scared as shit all of a sudden because they want to be like, oh man, bro, he's like such a horrible person. But they were doing the same thing before he was even the king. And now they want to, and now everybody want to switch up and act different when he walks through. Th bro, this is, bro, people are pussy, bro. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Everybody want to talk that loud and then like, you know, till they pull, until, until they get pulled up on. Now they want somewhere to hide. That's true as fuck. <sighs> Trying to mask it with the name like Safe House. As if you're doing everyone a favor. A favor. None of you actually care. You're all fakes. You don't deserve a safe house. It's true though. It's true though. Remy, this is the one thing I don't really like about Remy. So she preaches this whole thing about everything her brother did, right? But she didn't try to keep that um she didn't try to keep that system in place after Arlo became the king. Arlo got rid of it. He tossed it out the door like it was a piece of garbage. When your parents tell you to take that shit out and just toss the trash out for um for trash day the next day. That's exactly what happened. She didn't even, it didn't seem like she even tried to defend it because like she was walking around the school like all, all freaking fine and dandy. It didn't really matter. That's my, this is my issue with the, with all these people. Ugh. I thought I told you to get rid of those posters. Why am I seeing those? Why am I seeing them around? You think my orders are a joke? No, John, don't get mad, okay? I tried my best. I had all my people on it, but, but, but the club members got in the way. Blake, he forced me to stop. He beat me up. Hmm. Oh, so you lost to him. I knew it. You're useless. No, I swear. He's gotten stronger. He's gotten so much cockier because of it, too. He says you think you're hot shit and he's not afraid of you and that he can kick your ass at any time. He said you're a sucky king <laughs> and <laughs> then he told you to go fuck yourself. Uh, <laughs> okay, shut up. I got the idea. Man, this guy blood this guy Zeke is such a goofy. Oh my god, ouch. The safe house opens today after school. I want you to go there and observe. Make a list of every student who shows up and then report back to me. Oh, and that's the end of the uh, end of the chapter. Okay. Well, I mean this is so fucking obvious where this is leading up to. It's pretty obvious that he's gonna lead up to uh Blake fighting John again. Obviously with the whole um vials of freaking drugs and shit hold on let me take a sip of water there's my shit all right for all of you who like asmr you know i'm gonna whisper and shit for your ear i, I guess you like this getting you wet isn't it my bad all right so we're back <laughs> but yeah it's pretty obvious where the story is pretty going it's um i think blake is gonna fight john maybe like close to 210 i'm gonna guess uh what's today they're gonna be on like 203 i'm guessing around 208 to 213 that's where i'm guessing that's my guess maybe it might happen a little bit later but i think it's gonna be around there i think it's gonna build up soon because it's pretty obvious where the story is going they're gonna fight this is what i think is gonna happen the, ho the whole thing with zeke is gonna like everybody's gonna get tight because zeke pulled up on them and then they're gonna be like, oh my god, I can't believe I, I pulled up to the safe house. Now I'm on John's list or some shit. And then um, Blake is gonna be like, oh man, I can't protect my friends or whatever. Then he's gonna like come to the decision that he needs to shoot up. And then like, you know, he's gonna get like a little bit stronger. He's probably gonna shoot up to like a six or some shit for like temporarily, maybe. Maybe like a six. I don't think he's gonna go any higher than Arlo's level, honestly. But like, honestly that doesn't even freaking matter because even if he does shoot up to like a six plus he's still gonna lose because john is gonna copy it and he's gonna amp that up and then you're gonna get blasted through the chest like pop smoke said bow right to the neck <sighs> my bad for the my bad for anybody who was um wearing headphones probably popped a few of your eardrums <laughs> But yeah, other than all that, I think the chapter was uh this was a pretty decent chapter because it was getting a lot getting through a lot of um 
a lot of thoughts and processes that I've had. It was no fights really. I mean, well, he got his he got punched in the face a few times, if you want to call that a fight. But um, I I really like the fact that um, Uru is starting to build on this because this is the problem that a lot of the unordinary fans don't understand they don't understand this whole thing with Vaughn and what exactly he's doing or they don't understand the thought process they're so quick to judge and I always encourage the readers to think freaking deeper but like some of you guys have like an IQ of a freaking panda bear my bad pandas are actually pretty freaking smart so that's disrespecting pandas my bad some of you guys have the IQ of like what has the lowest IQ that's a mammal I don't know some shit though but like yeah some of you guys have a really low iq and you don't and you're like incapable of thinking you don't know what like reading comprehension is i'm not trying to i'm not trying to freaking come at your life but i actually am trying to come at your life because i, I need you to get your iq up and just like start to get smart i don't know what to tell you because i'm tired of reading goofy comments every now and then that's why i don't respond to them if you like be like yo why doesn't he respond to my comment it's probably goofy 99 percent of the time or i just didn't have the time you know i know oh my god yeah but i always been real with you guys and i'm not about to stop being real now so <laughs> i hope you like that <laughs> but yeah this chapter was pretty nice i actually enjoyed it no fight but like i think it was like it added depth to the story so anybody who's gonna be like oh my god bro nothing happened this chapter go talk to the freaking wall and go inside your closet because you don't know what you're talking about this definitely added depth to the story and i think it progressed it a little bit forward it just like i just hope uruchan keeps riding this raid riding this wave but other than all that, I hope you guys enjoyed my commentary. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below. Check out my Week Hero video. My uh, Parallel City video. My I'm the Grim Reaper video. And Omnipotent Reader video. Bro, I got so much coming. You don't even understand. I'm just I'm just scripting and stuff. You know, I'm in the, I'm in the lab. And I'm always working. But other than all that, hope y'all enjoyed. Join the Discord. Check out the music. All of this stuff is in the description. Check out my Patreon. You know what to do. Stop slacking. Peace out. Oh, and hit that. And hit the bring bell. God damn it. I want you to watch my videos. Peace out now. All right, for real this time though.